Hi everyone, welcome back to Art of the Park. In this last video for Mastercam, we're gonna talk about posting this out and then getting it ready for the machine. So if we have all of our geometry verified and created for our toolpath, we're happy with how this looks. I went through it. Um, I'll just go ahead and select all of my toolpath group here and I'll do a slight uh, check on it with a simulation using the verify. Just check through all of my geometry. Doesn't look like anything's gonna crash. Pretty happy with how the tools are running. Um, my feed time is a, is a little heavy. Uh, it's 20 minutes for this part here. I could easily get this down to like three minutes or four minutes. Um, and that's what I usually do uh, with our updated speeds and feeds. But again, this is just an introduction to Mastercam. I'm not gonna change our speeds and feeds that much. But otherwise, this looks pretty good for me and I'm, I'm ready to you know cut my first part. So I am going to just X out of my verify here. And as long as all of my toolpath is selected, I'll just turn all my toolpath on using the little waves here. I can toggle between these on and off. So if I have all my toolpath on, it's all looking good. Um, verify was good. I have everything selected. There's a, a blue check mark next to every one of these uh, operations. Well, now I should be good to go and select G1, which is post uh, selected operation, which is right next to the verify and the back plot, what we've been using before. So select G1. And when we select that G1, uh, it's just asking us what post that we're going to go to. Um, we're just gonna use a standard NC file, that's fine. I'm gonna hit the green check mark, and then I'll name this whatever the file name is. So it's gonna be the 98431, hit save. And then it's gonna open up the Mastercam code expert, and this is just going to uh, post all of the information um, in the G code, and it's going to uh, coordinate it by what color and what operation it's doing. So for example, I have all the tools that I, I'm going to use here, and then I have my operation, that 098431, and then it's have, uh, remember I was talking about the uh, little comments that I would leave between every single one of these operations? Well, look, it tells me my 3-inch face mill. So from this here, 3-inch face mill, all the way down here to 5 8 rough, rough these uh, lines of G-code here, these blocks, are going to be linked to my face mill. And then these blocks are going to be all linked to my 5 8 rough offset, and so on and so forth. So if I didn't have these notes, you could imagine going down this, um, it would just be, you know, a sea of G code, a lot of information to kind of go through. But uh, it's really easy to then break this up by what tool and what operation that is running uh, by the note that you set up. Likewise, I can see um, what types of G codes are being exported. So for example, all of my G0s are going to be in that red color. So every time I see that red, uh, not bold, it's gonna be that G0. Likewise, my G01 or my G1 is going to be that teal color. And then my Zs are gonna be the red bold, and then my Xs are going to be uh, blue, not bold, and Y is gonna be like an orange, uh, not bold. So it's just very easy to kind of see what all these different operations are, uh, and depending on what you're picking for your geometry. And hopefully that you can gain an appreciation for this because if you had to write this all by hand, this would take quite a bit of time. But by selecting geometry and making sure that we have everything set up in the proper way, we're setting up um, all of our stock operations and our stock setup, tool libraries, and so on and so forth. Well, we can make quick work of pretty much anything. So like this whole exercise explaining it probably took us you know, anywhere between 45 minutes or an hour. Well, when we start doing this over and over and over again, and we get a little bit quicker and we have set up tool libraries and things that are already set up, well, we can program this part in less than probably 10 minutes and get it ready to post and you know, cut our first sample part. And we can start tweaking our geometry afterwards. But once you're happy and everything looks good, uh, you can also go to File, Save As, and then you can save this to a flash drive. And then you'll take that flash drive and then you'll import that post in you know program manager inside of your machine. So this is just the final step in that whole operation of getting this ready to post and actually hit cycle start on your CNC. So save it, whatever have you. Um, and if you have to make any changes, obviously you have to come back in here, go into parameters, and you'd have to post it all out once again. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not going to be reactive if you make a change here. It's not going to update your program file elsewhere. You have to then update your program file once again. And you'll have to select all these operations. You might have to click on this, regenerate all selected 
uh, operations just in case the tool paths were not uh, updating. And then once again, you'll hit that G1 and post it and do the entire operation again. So hopefully that helped with your Mastercam um, adventure here. Uh, and we'll kind of talk about more advanced topics later, but this should apply to all of your machine block ones for 98431, 98432, 98433, and then for your final as well.